I don't know. I just feel so like full after every after every single show. It's just like wow, this is amazing. Can't believe we get to do this. lunch
What's going on? We are in Little Hartley in the Blue Mountains. About to set up on this beautiful property for our Blue Mountains show. So stunning, our friends here have put us up in the tiny home on their property and I'm just sitting here realizing how smashed I am after the last two nights of gigs. It's such um, an amazing experience to get to play music for people um, in their homes and yeah, intimate spaces and just connecting. Then like, I think the reality of touring while growing a baby is really hitting me at the moment. I'm just sitting here and like feeling like the waves of exhaustion and looking towards tonight just like I don't know just like mentally preparing for another night of of um, chatting to people sharing our songs and our stories and I'm so grateful that we get to do this I couldn't see us doing anything else it's not all roses all the time. I would say that it's, it definitely, yeah, has its intense moments. And um, for an introvert like myself, it can, um, it can take it out of us sometimes. Just, yeah, constantly being around people and, and being in the spotlight. And um, yeah, I feel like we definitely crave those moments of retreat sometimes and looking forward to that after this tour but yeah you have to find those little moments like I am right now to just try and recharge as much as possible and get back out there <laughs> anyway with every word that you've said I actually grew up here in the Blue Mountains uh, in a really pretty hole that way called Megalon Valley <laughs> um, on a little farm there and uh, it feels pretty weird to be back playing music. Um, I left the Blue Mountains maybe 15, oh no, 10 years ago. Um, can we give a round of applause to Eb and Dan? This is their wonderful property. Letting us all come and hang out here. How stunning is this? Um, I've, I've known Eb anyway, at least for about 400 years. <laughs> Eb and Gracie and my sisters, we would all run amok in the farm growing up. And so uh, it's, it's a pretty cool space, like I was saying, to be back here. But also the fact that Eb and Dan are hosting this is like a full circle moment. So it's, it's very, very cool. Don't run out of love. I keep hoping that we'll never give up Cause you're the one I'm dreaming of
All right, interview time. Um, what has been your favorite part of the house show tour so far? Probably the property in the Blue Mountains. And why is that? Because it was just like wide open space, out in a paddock, the sun was setting behind us, and the people that own the property are really good friends of ours, so it was amazing to see them as well. It was just a really wholesome show. We had people coming up to us after, afterwards seeing how um, some of the songs had really impacted them and their journey with mental health and that was really, really special but quite emotional. Um, yeah, it was just a really special show. What has it been like um, doing an entire East Coast tour pregnant? <laughs> tiring <laughs> um, but not much more than usual I've been I guess pleasantly surprised um, my expectations were that it would be really really difficult and it hasn't been really really difficult it's just been like an amazing normal tour experience with I don't know still lots of tiredness but lots of amazing things as well what's some of your um, tour life hacks for pregnant ladies everywhere mm. get as many quiet moments as you can sleep whenever possible even if it's just for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Um, the, pink pill. the pink pillow. We have this pink pillow that's like a pregnancy pillow that we've brought with us this time. And it just helps support my belly and support me not rolling over in the middle of the night onto my back because Apparently you're not supposed to sleep on your back in your third trimester, so there's that. Which you're now officially in your third trimester, as yes. of last week. Yes. Woo! So 29 weeks. Jason. Mm-hmm. How is that cup of tea? Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's very nice, um, made by a very nice person. Um, oh, really? Yes, ginger and um, lemon, which is good for the voice because my voice is tired. Mm. And why is your voice tired? Um, my voice is tired because in the last six days we drove nine hours, <coughs> then played three shows back to back, then had a rest day, and then drove another like lots of hours and then had another show in the south coast and then now we've driven here and we finally get to chill for a little bit and so we're trying to help our bodies bounce back before we keep going south that and swigging apple cider vinegar every morning yes <coughs> oh what you doing hen <laughs> Are you meant to take that much? <coughs> Not that much. <coughs> what has your favourite memory of this tour been so far? I think favourite memory... There's been so many amazing little moments. Um, I guess heading south, because I'm like from... New South Wales. It's just been amazing every night just having different people from different seasons of my life being there and getting to reconnect with so many old friends and um, yeah it's been really really encouraging and a beautiful experience just seeing everyone and it's amazing how music can kind of keep you in touch with people that 
yeah, life sometimes moves you away from. Um, so that's been really special. The Blue Mountains particularly were special because it was really close to the farm I grew up on. Um, so it just felt like home in a very nostalgic kind of way. Um, yeah, they've all been probably my favourite things. Thank you so much for partaking in this interview, Jason. us and jumped up and played some tunes as well um, yeah a really special night a really cool crew of people that came and we're uh, <laughs> we're heading south um, down the peninsula heading to Rye we um, put it on the tour poster for the last few months that we're playing in Mornington um, we thought Mornington was a whole area uh, clearly we're not from here uh, Rye is a very different town to Mornington, so <laughs> we learned that lesson. Um, our wonderful friends, uh, Sunday Lemonade, are putting on a night tonight um, called Niche Nights, and uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun. The final proper show of the tour, it's crazy to think it's already over. Um, it's, it's been the most special thing, I think, getting to play all these shows. Tonight's venue. Oh my gosh. We are at Rye Civic Hall. Um there's about 200 people coming tonight. I'm eating natural Greek yogurt because probiotics on the road. Um, there are about 200 people coming tonight. We have mostly all sound checked. And I'm really excited to see the space full of people with their chairs and rugs and snacks and I don't know, friends and stuff. Should be really wholesome. Hey Landscape, nice to meet you, I'm Portrait. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Portrait, no offence but have you ever watched a um, Portrait movie before? Um, no, but that's a good idea. <laughs> you should actually make a portrait movie. We should make a portrait movie. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, no. Let's let's do something else. Let's do like a, you know, maybe TVs should be this. An this angular, angle. just vertigo, yeah. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a cool dance. Come on, cool dance. And, and, oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just running back up. Oh, yeah? She has a fast one. She should have saved here from the parent yeah, I might get my shit, but I'll have to hang out for Things that have happened today. Uh, being able to see Zach on stage is just like. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I thought that I saw someone else. With your eyes, you silently ask me. Are you happy you're losing yourself? So how I watch you from. Last show of the tour for us. Yeah, it's kind of bittersweet, but we're also pretty tired, so it'll be sweet, bitter, <laughs> bittersweet. So we've finished all the gigs now um, and we're back heading north and Han really wants to do a hike and eat a giant steak. Um, so we're currently now in the Alpine National Park and um, this is our uh, spot for tonight. A little uh, clearing and um, just thought I'd walk you around our super amazing setup because we're obviously living the dream. <clears throat> this is our one of a kind camping setup. Uh, $20 this is our um this is our vehicle. Um so the the thing doesn't stay open anymore so we've got a mic stand um keeping it open. And uh we have our swag which um is, is that and that's our whole setup so uh thanks for coming on the tour good morning friends it's really cold today we're going for a hike so that's two of han's cravings getting fulfilled in less than 12 hours living the dream <laughs> what are you making there Han? um i'm making my foraged for you concoction it's basically like a prenatal vitamin um, for pregnant people, so yes, it's got lots of good things like fermented veggies and beetroot and um, beef liver and some kind of berry. Um, Superfood. Superfood. Um doesn't taste as bad as you might think um, but yeah and then also the worst part about it is the um, apple cider vinegar shot beforehand no way that's the best <laughs> <laughs> 